sometimes on this channel, I have to take it back to the basics. At my core, I love lighting and audio products, and it doesn't always have to be professional. Sometimes I like just a good home Bluetooth speaker, whether it's for putting in the garage while I'm working or washing the car or on the back patio while I'm hanging out with friends or in my suitcase to go on a trip. I love having a dependable, good sounding, loud uh, and rugged Bluetooth speaker. And today we've got a new contender in that list. This is the Heysong Sonic Blast speaker. It's a, a cylinder battery powered Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's IP rated, can stand up to the elements. And today in this video, I'm gonna give you a full unboxing, show you all the features of this guy, uh, give you a quick demo and then let you know my thoughts about the speaker compared to ones I've used in the past. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. If it's your first time, thanks for joining us. And if you're a subscriber, as always, welcome back. We're gonna dive right into talking about this guy, but first, if you're not already, consider hitting the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. It could even be a single word, I don't care. It helps me grow, it helps me keep bringing you product reviews, uh, and I would sure appreciate it. But enough of that, let's dive into talking about this Heysong Sonic Blast speaker. Despite the uh, kind of sensational name of Sonic Blast, uh, the packaging for this guy is pretty low key. You just got a picture of the speaker right there. Uh, mine kind of got a little bit banged up in, in transport, but the speaker inside works great. There's a few specs on the side, I'll just read them to you real quick. Uh, it says supports hand-free, so I think you can do, uh, it's got a microphone logo, so I think you can answer calls to this. Uh, true wireless stereo, if you wanna link multiple of these together. Uh, 3.5 aux in, uh, waterproof protection, and RGB lights. Now there's a few more features than that, but you'll see it once we unbox it. So opening up this package, you'll see the speaker sitting on top right here. We'll pull that out, um, and before we dive into looking at the speaker itself, I just wanna show you what else is in the box, which is this little accessories pack. Now, most of these speakers come with the same general items, which are going to be a USB cable for charging the speaker, and this uh, is USB-C, so I'm glad to see that being utilized instead of the micro or mini USB. And they also include an aux cord here, 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil. It's probably super cheap, don't expect much with it, but uh, if you do wanna connect wire, you know, through a wire to the speaker, you can do that. Last but not least, there is a little bit of a manual here. It's got a ton of different languages, so while it looks big, uh, the English portion is, is pretty short. It doesn't say too much, but really there's not much to using this speaker. So we won't waste too much time with that. We'll just kind of dive into the speaker itself. Now, um, talking about the design, um, this, if you remember, my, one of my most popular Bluetooth reviews is the Zam Call. I'll link that. Uh, it was a great speaker. It still is. I have it out in my garage. I use it all the time to this day. It's also a cylinder design. And picking this one up, uh, there's a few things that strike me. It's thicker. It's bigger around. This, um, These are like passive base radiators. They don't actually have power, but they kind of move with your uh, low end. They're bigger. Um, the casing of this is like a fabric and it feels a little bit more kind of high end than the Zam call. The only thing that I don't really like is the logo right here, the, the Heysong logo. It's a little bit big for my taste, but you know, you're not showing this off for the looks probably. Now around uh, the bottom, you can see there's some kind of raised rubber buttons right there. And we've got buttons for power, plus and minus for the volume. Uh, we've got a uh, button to link the stereo Bluetooth uh, things together. And then we've also got a button with like a sun on it and that's to control the lighting because this does have built in lighting which we'll talk about in a moment. And I can see a little uh, port right there for the microphone so you can talk into this. Now, next to the buttons is this little kind of rubber pouch right here. And this is kind of what led me to realize that this is water uh, and dust resistant. It should stand up to the elements pretty well. You're not gonna wanna submerge it in a pool but if it starts raining or you get sand tossed on it or, or splashed uh, you know, at the lake, it's not gonna to be an issue. Now, under this cover, we have some of our connections. We have our charging port, the USB-C. We also have the aux input, 3.5 millimeter. And then there is a micro SD card as well as a USB input. So if you wanna play digital files you know, off a portable device and not connect your phone to this, you can do that as well. But enough about that, let's power it up. Uh, holding the power button, it'll turn on. You can see that the ends will light up. Hold on, there we go. The end, uh, ends should light up in color and it talks to you, it says it's in Bluetooth mode. Now paired to my phone because I've already connected to it in the past. And we'll just, uh, I'll get some royalty free music and give you a quick demo. Now as I, uh, you know, pull up some YouTube music, I'm gonna preface this by saying I hate doing uh, sound demos on my YouTube videos just because by the time it comes through the speaker, to the mic, uh, out, you know, uploaded, processed by my computer, through your internet connection, down to your computer, out whatever speakers you're using, it doesn't sound the same. But you guys love to hear it, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So I always start with like some royalty free acoustic, okay? Now the speaker 
speaker drivers themselves are right next to the logo, one on each side. These, again, are not drivers. They just kind of passively move with the bass, but I think there's uh, two drivers in here, and I'll talk about how they sound in just a moment. So let me throw on some acoustic first. And that's actually really loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So while this plays, uh, I am gonna show you the edges. You can see those kind of lighting up there. And I've got this on like a really fast sound responsive mode right now. It actually does really well changing with the music. Um, but I'm gonna, oh, drop the box there. I'm gonna cycle through some of these. So if I click it, we've got some solid colors. Okay, so if you just want it on like a single color, you can do that. Go through all the different ones there. And then you can actually turn the light off. So if you're not into the light show or it's kind of like a, a dark night or you're just not really digging it, you can turn it off. The first mode is just gonna be a slow fade through all the different colors. And then if I click it again, we go back to the color change mode. Now, talking about the sound qualities, you can hear this acoustic track, uh, very impressed, very full sound. Now, you always have to keep in mind the size of the speaker. The drivers in here aren't gonna be like doing anything too crazy. Um, oh, I think I just shut it off accidentally by holding that button. Um, oh, I guess I just paused it. Still figuring this out. So the buttons, um, you know, they're clicky, they got good response, but if you uh, hold them too tight, they will shut off, so. Okay, I wanna reconnect to my phone here. Yeah, okay, so like I was saying about the sound quality, um, you have to keep in mind the size of the drivers. Um, you're not gonna get crazy, crazy bass out of this, but a full sound is really what I'm looking for in a speaker this size. So let me play some royalty-free um, house music. I'm gonna kinda... So you can kinda see the uh, colors changing there. Turn that up. So again, uh, very impressed with the output and the sound. I actually turn that down. Uh, tons of volume, just as much or more than the Zam call, I would say. Actually at about 60, 70% on my phone, it's loud enough that it's gonna start distorting. Um, and so you can't go all the way at 100%, it'll sound terrible. Um, let, me check, let me get another one here. I'm gonna kinda fast forward here. Let's see what I can do. Okay, turn it up. About 70%. Again, sound is full. Um, the bass will distort at super high levels, but you know, you're not gonna be listening that loud anyway. And then let's do some rock music, free rock music. Uh, let's just let's just go with this guy right here. This is like some heavy stuff here. Let's get some hair. I'm just trying to find a couple tracks that aren't gonna get me flagged. Okay, like this. Sounds great. Again, most of your bass is gonna kind of be in the mid bass, not really like sub frequencies, but the speaker's only that big, so. But I think it will hold its own with any other speakers of the size, including you know like name brand models. Um, pending it's not like a prevent it's not like a Bose, uh, you know, which usually kind of has some tricks to get a lot of low end. This is, sounds great. Um, in my mind, again, comparing to the Zam call because it's such a similar speaker, a little bit bigger, which I think gives it a more full sound, and the volume is there uh, as well. So, you know, all in all, I think this is an awesome option, and I really like the cylindrical design. It's just super easy to slip in like a cup holder or in your backpack. Um, you know, with these radiators uh, on the sides, even though there's kind of like rubber bumpers here to set it on the end, I probably wouldn't. You probably want to keep it like this at all times just because the speaker's right here pointing out. When you do this, it kind of distorts the sound a little bit little because one of your uh, radiators is covered up. But all in all, this Heysong, uh, what is it? The Sonic Blast, Sound Blast, Sonic Blast, uh, is a really cool little speaker and I think a worthwhile uh, option in the price category and the size category. So if you wanna grab one for yourself, uh, you can grab one down at the link below, buy through their affiliate link, gives me a little percentage, doesn't cost you anything, and helps me grow the channel and I would appreciate you for it. Now, um, if uh, you wanna see a different speaker in the future, you've got another Bluetooth that you're kind of considering, let me know. Maybe I can get one on the channel. Again, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you found this unboxing helpful and I will see you next time.